All right, my G's. All right, my kings. All right, my gents. What's up, y'all? What's happening, y'all? It's been a minute. I know it's been a minute since I gave y'all a new video, but here it is. My boy right here got a man fun. This is the before, and honestly, he was looking a little walky. But the first thing we're doing is we're grabbing our trimmers. Any trimmers y'all have for me specifically, I have my and this slimline pros right here and i am just going um a little bit low i want to say between the box and between his square lineup on the bottom that's how i want to start off my skin fade and then obviously it's going above the ear and it's going a little bit down dipping once it goes to the back of the head after that you just want to make sure to remove all of that bulk and please make sure you remove your boat guys because i promise you it's gonna make it so much easier you're not gonna have to go back and take care of all that because you already took care of it and on the other side you're gonna do the exact same thing you're gonna go a little bit low you're gonna dip above the head and then you're gonna go dip down into the head once you go to the back and then you meet the back you meet the center of the back and then once you do all of that that's when you take care of the rest of the boat y'all once you do that you're gonna hit it with your foil shavers once you hit it with your foil shavers <laughs> it's about make your shed look nice it's about really giving that contrast between skin to the number two or whatever number you went on the top make sure when you use your foil shavers though that you go in really lightly and you make sure to scoop upwards scoop outwards actually you see how i'm really just scooping outwards once i'm hitting it with my four shavers you're gonna see it right here i'm just not going too light i'm really going super 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 light because i don't want to go in too heavy after that guys you want to go in with your one and a half guard closed and you want to give yourself about a little bit more than an inch of a guideline the reason why you want to do this is just so you can remove some bulk once you do that then you're gonna want to Grab your, actually, we're actually still doing this, but we were just connecting into the back. And on the other side, you're going to want to do the exact same thing, y'all. And give yourself about more than an inch of a guideline just because you just want to remove bulk and see what you're working with on your canvas. And just to make things easier, from one side of the head, point out what part of the head that you started your guy line and on the other side of the head do the exact same thing on the exact same point right here guys i got my no guard open and i am going about an inch upwards i'm making an inch of a guy line just so i could blend in from that triple zero that trimmers up to that no guard open that we just did right here and like i said give yourself enough room especially in the back because the back tends to be really coarse hair and then once you do that you want to go in with your no guard halfway open and then just scoop up right underneath where you did that no guard open with your half open go right underneath where you did your no guard open when i mean no guard open i mean like your lever your lever is halfway open or your lever is closed or your lever is open when your lever is open that means the blades are not touching when your lever is halfway closed that means they're kind of still not touching but it's halfway closed or halfway open however you want to see it but when your lever is closed that means your blades are touching y'all so keep up with me please if you have any questions make sure to hit it up in the comment section and like you're seeing right here once i hit it with that no guard open you hit it with that no guard closed and then you just want to attack that bottom line still fading into that no guard open because it's going to be less likely that you're going to create a new line doing this technique i promise y'all i've been through it i've been through different techniques i've been through all of it and this is probably the simplest technique i can teach y'all once you do the right side you go ahead and continue the guideline all the way to the other side once you do this you're gonna still keep on fading downwards just remove that line that bottom line the same way you did on the other side and then we move on to the next haircut the next step actually And guys, make sure to please use your corners, y'all, because you will mess up if you do not. And moving on to the next side, we did the same exact thing. We got our one guard. We made that one inch guideline with no, no guard 
actually no guard we made that one inch skyline about an inch and then we start fading downwards from that but moving on to the next step we got our number one guard same process goes y'all make your one inch skyline one guard open and then from there you start slowly 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 closing that lever once you get to that bottom line guys once you get to that bottom line that's when if you haven't taken that line off you start with your 16th guard your 0.5 guard whatever you want to say but just to save some time i'm using the same exact guard all around y'all just be precise be really efficient with y'all time and i and i know for a fact that not all my haircuts are the exact same steps like i said sometimes i just work in sections just to complete one section move on to the next section but in this i changed it up a little bit i'm working all around the head to complete the head in whatever section i'm working and then i keep progressing upwards you feel me i'm still using that number one guard all around until i feel like i can't get anything else out and then guys and then guys once you feel like you can't get anything out please do not forget about your 0.5 guard because that is gonna come in really handy in about a few minutes you're seeing right now i just can't get anything else out of that out of that line you feel me there's nothing else i can do with that one guard and if you were really nice you could have probably taken that line out with just your no guard your no guard open you feel me but but i don't consider myself that nice you feel me? i'm not that nice but you're gonna see right here i'm just going at that line just making sure everything is even i can take out as much as i can like i said as you get closer to that bottom line you want to keep closing your lever when you keep closing your lever your lever is eventually or your blades are eventually going to touch and this is what i mean y'all i could not take out that line with just my one guard so what am i doing i got my 0.5 guards and guess what i am using my guards. First, I start with my 0.5 guard open, using my corners, attacking that line, and I, I can't not still get anything out of there. Guess what? Guess what happened to the body? You gotta lower his, his, his lever, you know? He gotta lower his, his, he gotta get his blades closer together so I can get that line out of there and try to make him look as crispy as he can look. Next thing, guys, we got our number two guard. Our number two guard. First thing you wanna do is go up open you want to scoop out because at the end of the day you still want to maintain that box shape you feel me you don't want his hair his head to start looking round. you want him to have that box shape because it looks a little bit more masculine in my opinion so anyway once you got that number two guard then you go with your number one guard open right below where you did that number two guard you go with that one guard open one and a half guard open actually and then you start slowly 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 closing that lever usually y'all see a pattern here right y'all see a pattern you start with your guard open and then you close it so you hit that bottom line and it goes the same with every single guard with every single step y'all and once you did that if you feel like you still didn't cut enough or you still can't get that line out lower your guard use your 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 corners or play with your lever and that's so easy to say but <laughs> because i've been there i've been there with people are like yo just play with your lever I, I, I do this but bro like it's not that simple and you're right it's not that simple but guess what with practice y'all with practice with more haircuts i know if you're not as great right now as you feel like you should be then everything feels miserable but it won't be i promise y'all it will not feel like this forever you're gonna get better just how i felt i would never get better you know a year ago i felt like i could never give a cut like this but look at me now i'm still getting better every single time kings my kings now we're gonna go over to some sheer work the reason why you want to do some sheer work guys it's just so you can make everything as even as it can you know it could look good from the side but if you look at it from the front it could still look a little choppy so we just want to make sure everything is even as it can especially you see that little overhang right there we want to just completely take care of that with a little bit of scissors over comb you know we can take care of that easy ain't no problem with a little bit of clippers too you could take care of that overlay in so many different ways i would normally just do it 
clipper over comb, but you know, I want to work on my shear work a little bit. So I was like, why not? And y'all can see how I do my, my, my techniques, you know? And another thing I'm doing right here is I'm just getting rid of all those extra little flyaway hairs because he does not want it. I do not want it. The client does not want it. Javi Clips does not want it. There's a difference between me and Javi Clips, you know? Me, I'm me, and then Javi Clips the barber, you know? <laughs> That's why I'm so many margaritas and padding, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, your boy, your boy James, he's looking nice right now. He's looking magnificent. This is blasphemy. <laughs> anyway, he's looking really good right now. And then, guys, once you do all of that with your shears, you just want to hit it with the trimmers to shape him up, y'all. Want to make him look good. You know, you want to make him look nice. It's just really simple. Just make sure your trimmers are a pencil. You want to outline the shape of his haircut with the trimmers. So make believe it's a pencil, y'all. That makes it easier. And then usually when I do my hairline, I always start from the middle and work my way to the end, to the sides, just because I don't want his hairline to be lopsided. So for me, this technique is the easiest to do, you know? Um, start from the middle, and then once you do one side of the hairline, you do the other side, you're gonna see which side is higher than the other, and then from there, you just adjust, y'all. And make sure to use your angles, use your fingers as a balancing point, because like I said, y'all, I have completely shaky hands. My hands are dummy shaky, you know? And because of that, I need to use my fingers, I need to use their forehead, their cheeks, whatever it is, in order to balance my hand to shape them up. You know, and after a while, even though my hands are a little shaky, I just got the form of it. So you don't even need to use it if you don't have to. But it does make things so much easier in life, y'all. You just want to make sure that you're giving the best haircut y'all can give. Regardless if the haircut isn't good. As long as the client had the best experience he's ever had at your chair, you best believe you got to be coming to you no matter what. That's all it is. The customer experience. Y'all can give a crappy haircut. Customer experience is there, you better believe you coming back. She coming back. Whoever is coming back. They coming back. It don't matter. You got it, Kings. You got it. And even from the side angle, my boy looking like a whole snack. <laughs> y'all feel me, ladies? <laughs> I'm playing with y'all, but he's looking really good right now. Skin fade definitely does fit him. This man bun definitely does fit him too. I remember giving him his first haircut when he was trying to grow his man bun. It was not there at all. This was a couple months back. And now his man bun is looking finesse. It is looking rico suave. It is looking nice. He's looking like a king right now. That hobby clips experience. Right here, you saw me put on some June 45 shaving gel. I believe that is by my well, I watch him a lot. That's from Chris Basio. You can check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave it in the link below. I'll leave it in the comment below. He is great. He's amazing. He's an innovator in the barber game. And I really would like to fucking work with him one day as well. But I'm in my own lane right now. You know, I got to work my way up. You feel like I got to be humble. The boy got to be humble. Anyway, one big advice I got to give y'all when you're doing a lineup is please pull away from where you're cutting please pull the skin especially when you want to get that curve with the razor you got to pull the skin y'all please pull the skin guys because one it's going to prevent you from cutting them and two you're going to get that crispy lineup that you never thought you would be able to have guys <laughs> y'all not ready y'all not ready i'm telling you y'all not ready right now my boy Y'all not ready, y'all not ready, go. Oh. Damn, nah, my boy is looking mega right here. I would say he's looking like a bang Bangladesh bad pit, girl. Bangladesh bad pit. My son looking nice right now. And honestly, the look on his face when he just saw his whole haircut, he's feeling himself. He's really feeling himself right here. And honestly, that's like the best thing I could have when someone just leaves my chair that satisfaction feeling that inner peace that confidence when he just gets up and he's like yo bro i'm feeling mad good right now and that's my goal with every haircut whether i like it or not as long as you like it that's all i go for y'all make sure to book y'all appointments we located in brooklyn new york hit me up 
If you like the video, please leave a comment, like, share it too. I love y'all. Stay safe, y'all. Same now, I've been humble too long.